I get asked all the time about the Bible and what do I really think about it. But what I think about is not nearly as important as what you think about it. You see, there are a lot of myths in the Bible and there are a lot of truths in the Bible. What I look for is the hidden truth and there's a lot of that. Remember when Jesus said to the boys, he said, you know, there are truths for the, the, the public and the special truths for you. And I'll reveal these to you. And he did. And they were put in the good book. And all you got to do is work to get them out. And I'm going to help you with that. That's my main goal is not just to stimulate your thinking, but to get you going where you make some decisions for yourself. We just finished the, uh, the Easter season here. And someone asked me about the Shroud of Turan. Was that really the face of Jesus? Well, let me tell you something. When they laid Jesus in the sepulchre, the tomb, they they covered his face with a napkin, remember? And there was, they wrapped him in the shroud, of course, but they covered his face with the napkin. And there was a reason for that. They didn't have time to do a lot. It was the Sabbath. Now, in, in that religion, the Sabbath was from Friday night until Saturday night. Consequently, they had to hurry and to get into their religion, they couldn't do any work, they couldn't do anything at all. And uh, they, they wanted to get it done, so they sealed the tomb with a, with a stone. Well, when they opened the stone, they didn't. When they came and the stone was open, and they, they came with oils and spices and things to prepare the body, why, the body was gone. But they noticed that the napkin had been folded up by the pillow and left there. Well, that's very symbolic. Now, you also got to remember that during the time of Jesus and before, symbols were very important, and they still are today. I watched a play the other day where the people were walking upstairs and a uh, picture fell off the wall, and the other guy looks over and says, Look, it's a warning. And the other one said, No, it's a picture. Well, that was a symbol to one, and to the other it was a picture. Well, to you and I today, a lot of the things that happened then are pictures. But to them, they were symbols. And that folded napkin was an important one. Let me give you the history of that. When the rulers or the people that had power and money would eat, they had servants, and the servants would spend a cent, a serve them. And, of course, they used napkins. When they were through eating, they'd crumple that napkin up and they put it on the table, and then the servants could come in and clean up the mess and eat what was left over, and you bet they did. And uh, that was important. But if the, if the leader or the headmaster at that table stood up and folded that napkin, that meant that he wasn't through, and he'd probably be back to finish, and they had to wait until it was crumpled. Well, do you see the symbolism there? When, when Jesus was gone, the napkin was folded. That meant he still had work to do. And he did. Well, there is the other thing about Jesus. A lot of what he did while he was still in incarnation, uh, they've listed in the Bible. There are a lot of people that say in the, out of the books that were taken out of the Bible, and we're going to study those too, that they talk about his youth. Well, for one thing on his youth, you can bet that he grew up just like any other boy. He roughed and tumbled and had a good time, played hard, probably got his nose broke when he was playing some games, maybe even arm broke, but I, I, they had to bring up a deformed arm or anything like that. Now, another thing you got to remember that, that his mom and daddy ran off to Egypt to protect him from the king that was going to kill all the babies because he had heard there was a ruler born. King didn't want that. Well, in that case, he had to kind of blend in. If you've ever been to Egypt, you don't see any light-skinned people there. So you got to figure Jesus' skin was probably a little dark. Another thing, when they uh, do the pictures of Jesus and you look at it, why, you see all that long hair and long beard? Doubt it, because it was important during those ages to keep everything short. Your beard would be cut short, and your hair would be trimmed no more than just show or no less or more than shoulder length a lot of times even less than that 
And even, even Paul wrote about it in Corinthians. He said that it's an abomination for the man to have long hair. Well, isn't that a hoot for you? I bet you didn't expect that, did you? Because everybody went around saying Jesus was long-haired, had a thin face. Oh, do you know anything about Jews? I don't know too many that have a thin face. Do you? <laughs> well, there goes the alarm. Time's up. I want to thank you for sharing, letting me share a little of the little that I know with you. And may it be blessed to your understanding. <laughs>